Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what the difference between list and array list in CSAM.NET. So, at the first, I am going to include namespace system.collection. So, this is for uh, array list and here after using system.collection.generic. So, this is for here yeah, this is for list now let's go inside main method here yeah, writing array list class creating the object a double r here yeah, name operator array list and here yeah, adding the elements in array list using add method so at your first i'm going to Add at your end user tab value triple one. Here after a double r dot to add here. I'm going to add C sum here. A double r dot add here. Going to add date time and your today date. Now here. This time going to add add your character A. Now here after going to display this all elements, so we need to use for loop. So add your integer i that is start from zero. The condition is i less than a double r dot length. So length method not available in the rest. So here yeah. we need to use count method. Now here after i plus plus. So count method that count total numbers of elements in the array list. So here after let's display the array list item. So we need to write here. A double R of I. So this is the ex one example of array list. Now hereafter I am going to create a list. So and here I am going to use a list. And here first I am going to create list of a string. So need to write here a string. Giving the data tag str, giving the object name str here new list string. So let's add elements in the string add method here writing country here str dot add here usa. Here yeah, str dot add here yeah, u k. You can add any uh, country at your yeah, USA, UK, Canada, Austria. Now hereafter let's so uh, copy this to display the elements. So at here yeah, we need to change only str here yeah, str of i now let's create the list of uh, integer so one more thing console dot to right now here I'm going to print a star now here going to create the list of integer 
So we need to give data int here. Give this table object name into here. We need to write at here int and here you can give the size or you can flip so it's so optional so at here we need to change enter and here let's enter integer value so one two two One two three. One two four. So this is the list of integers. Now hereafter I am going to create a list of date and time. So control B and here give date time. It's a appear now here write to date date time here flip the size. And here DT so right here right to DT date time dot so here going to uh, display the data now. Data dot so this time going to pass today and here data dot so and here going to get to UTC date. So here we need to give this place or DT and here DT. So this is the list of date time. Now let's uh, execute the code. So see at here, this is the output of array list, and here this is the output of list where I'm using a string data here and is here date time. So in so in array list you can enter or you can include integer data values here a string here data here character but in list if you are going to write here or create your list in the array so if you are creating list of strings so you have to give at your string values. Suppose if you are going to change at your string to integer, so at your getting the masses adds an object end of. So this is not to suitable so that here I am getting the error masses. So that means uh, list is a strong time, and uh, here. If you are creating the list of strings, so you have to give a string values here. If you are going to create the list of integers, so you have to include only integer value. List of date times, so you have to include only date time values. But in array, you can you know, include anything or any data time at here. Now, hereafter, see other example. So at here I am going to take integer variable n1 and here going to write to convert and here convert to to integer. 
So add here, I'm going to convert this one a double or zero index value. So zero index triple one here. A double or zero index. This is a triple. So let's give it. So add here, no any error. So if you are going to convert a double or one index. So at here I am getting the exception. Exception because this considered as a, a string tab and here I am using two int and converting into the this converting to integer I am storing it into integer. So this is not suitable thing. So we need to write at here a string. And let's uh, execute the same output here. Int to a string cannot implicitly convert. So we have to write at here to a string. Now build the solution. So this term error out. So this is things related with array list. And if you are going to do Add here str of for zero position value. So add here going to write str enter. Here we need to write add here str of zero position value. So zero position value go to n2. So build the solution. So it succeeded. So this is the second difference between array list and list so array list we need to write this things using convert to a string so this one is now that go to n1 and here you can directly access so final point about to array list and list so array list is not a strong tag and here you can uh, enter at your any trigger tag like so it is a string float uh, character anything and for this you have to create separate list of every data types so if you are creating a string at here so you have to give at your string values also for integer here only integer and here this is a uh, data type so only for data and list is a, a strong type that means integer for integer string for a string and uh, for and in array list you have to use this values to convert and that is true in a list you can directly kill at your uh, index and that uh, value that directly that go to n2 so these are the things between array list and list so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so if you have any doubt related to this video, so leave a comment, definitely I will reply. So now in this video it's over, so thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you.